Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. And this time, it is going to be on Crawl. Uh, so Crawl is about a girl named Haley. Uh, she's going through a hurricane, and uh, she wants to get her father back. But uh, uh, the house is abandoned, you know, it's very messy. And uh, when she finds her father, she uh, her father is really injured. They're trapped in a basement with a bunch of alligators. They have to try to escape. But also with the hurricane going on, there's a lot of flooding, so uh, the water starts flooding in their basement, so uh, they have to get out of the basement and uh, fight off the alligators in order to get out alive while also trying to call help. You basically know the premise now. It's a creature feature that doesn't have sharks, this time it's alligators, so that's the basic premise. So you could go into this movie thinking, okay, this is probably going to be another one of those cheesy monster movies that uh, are, is probably not going to take itself seriously and is probably uh, just going to be some other creature feature that we've seen tons of times before and uh, we're probably just going to be like, <laughs> oh, that was laughably stupid. That's not the case. I thought this movie was great and this movie wasn't laughable. It was actually pretty serious for the most part. And all in all, I had a really great time with this movie. Everything, everything that, the look of this movie feels extraordinary, alright? You know, the hurricane and stuff, it looks absolutely realistic, as well as the alligators. Uh, the alligators, for what they look like, they look really good for CG. And they don't look like they came from a video game or anything like that. They don't look, they, they, they definitely look... They look like alligators. That's the best way I should put it. They definitely look like alligators. Now, this movie isn't just about, you know, surviving uh, from, you know, a giant alligator apocalypse or something like that. But no, um, one thing, uh, another thing to really fear in this is the hurricane. As that hurricane comes, you know, and uh, with a uh, daughter and her dad, uh, you know, in the basement, uh, you know, everything's flooding, you know. That's what makes this movie into, it, it gets it gets very claustrophobic, like where you just feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you're actually in the movie, suffering with them, and just think to yourself, oh, I do not want to be in this situation right now. Uh, Performance-wise, um, both of the main leads do a fantastic job. Um, you know, the main character, uh, Haley, uh, she's actually uh, been a swimmer. Uh, she does swim races and stuff like that, so she, and she loves swimming, but, uh, you know, her relationship with her dad is kind of off because there's stuff that happened, but, uh, you know, um, there are moments where um, she tries to get closer to her dad with certain moments, and it's actually pretty touching. I didn't, I think it really worked in the movie, and uh, for the most part, uh, there are moments in the movie, okay, okay, first thing, I should point out, I am so glad this movie is rated R. I'm glad that uh, Alejandro Ad Adje, is that how you pronounce I, I don't think, uh, or Alejandro, Al Alexandra something. Uh, he was the director of The Shallows, which is uh, a movie I really enjoyed, uh, which is a, also a serious film with really good performances and, uh, or, or performance, since it only focused on one character. And uh, also, he also directed uh, Piranha 3D, so yeah, he's pretty big on creature features, and I could say this is his best creature feature. And uh, uh, what else? What else is really good about this movie? I mean, there is quite a bit. It's very well directed. It's very well paced. It's only an hour and thirty minutes long. This is the type of movie to come out in the summer that you want to have a good time, that you want to go to the theater and have a good time with during the summer. And uh, it's it's definitely one of those movies that is just it's just one of those popcorn flicks. It, it that that's what it is. It's a popcorn flick that you can enjoy without having to laugh at stupidity and stuff because there are some pretty smart moments. Well, while there are some moments in the movie that might confuse you, like there are certain moments where you know the girl is getting attacked and quite a few times and she still manages to get out alive. I mean. Uh, like, there are moments where I thought, oh, uh, it looks like her arm is about to get bitten off. Nope. And her leg is about to get bitten off. Nope, nope, nope. It's, she is still in one piece. Uh, so, you, you, you might find that kind of distract. Well, not distracting, but uh, you might kind of find that, like, 
okay, how, how does she still have limbs? And, uh, uh, I know I'm saying and uh, quite a bit, but, uh, you know. Uh, also, uh, f mm, it's, it's really hard to, to pick, like, really big flaws that I had with the movie. Because all in all, I, I was just focused on being entertained. It's an hour and 30 minutes, so uh, it's very... It, it got the runtime just right. And uh, all in all, for the most part, it, it's exactly what it needs to be. And uh, it, it, it's really shocking because I was going to see this movie. I was looking forward to seeing this movie. Or I wasn't too hyped for it because it's a 50% chance that it might be good. And, of course, it might suck being another creature feature, but this is the creature feature of the summer that I highly recommend checking out. So, you know what? Overall, this was a great time, okay? It's uh, very well very well uh, paced. It looks good. It looks nice. Uh, performances are terrific. They're really good direction. And all in all, it's a great time at the movies, and it went by really fast. It's a very well paced movie. Or, you know, after the first, like, 15 minutes of the movie. So, yeah, if you want to if you wanna watch a movie about alligators that's actually good and actually worth your time, then this is the one to check out. I'm going to give Crawl a 4 out of 5. Oh, my God, I cannot believe how much I enjoyed this movie. I will definitely want to watch it again uh, one time. But... You know, that just shows that there are some big surprises, and I did not think I would enjoy this movie this much. I think I would probably say this is Alejandro, uh, Alejandro, Alexandra's best film so far. I enjoyed it more than Shallows. I enjoyed it more than Piranha 3D, so probably, I'm not sure what else he directed, but, uh, you know, you know, it's just so great to actually watch a creature feature that's actually R-rated that you know, isn't aiming toward teenage audience, but, you know, it, it, it knows exactly what it tried to be, and it really succeeded at it. All right, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.